As climate change continues to pose a threat to agricultural production globally, experts are emphasizing the importance of dry land agriculture for addressing food insecurity in Africa. During a recent inspection of facilities at Bayero University, Kano, Africa Development Bank representatives highlighted the crucial role of research institutions. They believe such institutions are key to discovering new and modern farming techniques that promote sustainable agriculture in arid and semi-arid regions. Trust TV's correspondent Idris Jabrin reports. Agriculture is believed to be the key driver for the socio-economic development of any nation. And centers like this may just help address the threat of food insecurity in Africa. CDA uh, has been doing very well for over 10 years. Uh, it's one of the successful centers of excellence we have in Nigeria, not only in UK, because we, we, we have a lot of uh, achievements. For the future of Nigeria's economy and Nigeria as a country, it's important to educate and provide the youth with the skills that they need to be able to transform, uh, transform agriculture and take forward the economy and the nation as a whole. These and several other concerns brings the Vice President of the Africa Development Bank to the Center for Dryland Agriculture of the Bayer University, Kanu, to identify areas of collaboration that will help enhance modern agricultural practice for African nations. With the intervention last year with the National Agricultural Growth Scheme supported by the African Development Bank, we were able to get heat tolerant wheat, which again is a variety of wheat that helps farmers plant in areas that are too hot, too dry for regular wheat. So this climate adaptive approved variety, we were able to help farmers plant 150,000 hectares with this wheat. In order to effectively improve dry land agriculture, the bank will collaborate with the center in areas of research and training, as well as development of modern farming techniques to effectively combat the threat of climate change. There are about uh, two, three areas. One is uh, in areas of uh, climate adaptation. The second is in the area of youth and entrepreneurship. Uh, another area is in terms of uh, modeling and climate adaptation to advise farmers. Then, uh, of course, uh, the bank is in, involved in many activities that try to de-risk farming. Fully equipped with modern laboratory facilities and demonstration farms, this center is now on the top list of the Africa Development Bank for Empowerment. So I think we'll be coming together with our team here in Nigeria to, to see how we can best support this very, very impressive effort that we see here on the ground. This is a policy statement as far as the Africa Development Bank is concerned. A hope of a brighter future for the center is expected to be put into action in the next coming days. Idris Jubrin, Trust TV News, Kanu.